DJ Mar again here working at the Buffett Center in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Um, a little bit about the Buffett Center. It's uh, this brand new cancer building that Warren Buffett donated. It was a approximately $327 million building and it's dedicated to cancer research and uh, cancer treatment facility. So it's one of the best in the nation. It's a beautiful building. I'm just doing, I'm just here doing some pancreatic cancer research. But today I wanted to talk to you guys about when is the best time to take your MCAT? Now, there are many different MCAT dates and they all range from January till September. So the, the pick is yours, but what I wanted to talk to you about is when I feel like it's the best time to take your MCAT. I took it twice. Um, the first time I took it a little bit too early and didn't score as well as I wanted to, but the second time I took it a little bit later, about six months later, and improved my score by 10. So uh, anybody can do it, and I'm going to talk to you about it today. So uh, I'd say one of the least popular dates to take it is, is in January. Um, that's when I took my first one. My school offers this class in January that's a MCAT te uh, test prep class. And if you're a junior going in and you're, you know, in January and you haven't taken your second semester yet, I would probably stay away from these January dates. The January dates are, you know, a little bit too early. Uh, for me, I was missing out on some, uh, some uh, core classes like biochemistry too and medical anatomy and physiology so that my, my biochem exam score was uh, not as well as I would have liked it I also you know had a little bit of physics that I was missing and it just was too early for me I was missing out on some stuff um, I would personally take it in the summertime uh, preferably the June one the July test dates if you're trying to apply that year, the July test dates are a little bit too late. The June one is perfect, like June, here, let's see here, I got it pulled up. Uh, they have a June 29th, I would really ideally, I would think that was perfect because you can still submit your application, you just tell your medical schools that, you know, hey, I got um, a test score coming in, but you can still start reviewing my application and then when my test scores arrive, I'll inform you about that. So. June is a really good time to do it. A lot of people like taking it in May. Uh, if you're a full-time student, I highly, highly discourage you from taking an MCAT course during May. I mean, you have classes, you're taking a full credit class, and then on top of that, you you have to be studying for the MCAT. And you know, they say, hey, if you start early enough, you can get it done, and I really don't think so. If you're not putting full-time investment into this MCAT, you're not gonna score what you wanna score, and that's, the, that's just the sad truth. Now you want to be really dedicated to this test date. You want to study for a full time. When I studied for it, I was studying it, studying for it from 8 a.m. till 5 or 6 p.m. every single day. And I only took off Sundays. Saturdays were my exam times, or were my practice exams. And now I took six exams. Now we're gonna have another video where I talk about how I studied and how I improved my score by 10 points, getting the 90th percentile. Uh, but all, the reality is, is that we need to. Uh, study full-time for this exam and that's very important it is very important that you study full-time they recommend studying about 300 hours I had around 500 hours total between the two exams I took and it every single hour counts I mean even even if you're a genius you need to study a lot for this exam so I would recommend, you know, the June 30th time. It gave me, I, that's when I took my second exam. It gave me plenty of time to inform my medical schools that this is when I'm going to be taking my X exam. So the September ones are, I would probably stay away from anything after July 21st. I would stay away from any of those exams uh, unless you're going to try to uh, take the test and you know you're going to take it again for the next application cycle for the 2019 application cycle then I would probably avoid those test dates at all possible. But if you're applying this year, I would definitely look at the June, the June exam date. The July or the January one is just about to happen. If you're looking at this next year, I would take January for a practice practice one. But other than that, the June is when you want to perform and that's when you want to put in all your hard work. So with that, guys, you know, I'm going to be firing a couple videos uh, of 
couple more videos here quickly. You know, I'm trying to start my new YouTube channel. My name is DJ. I am a new student uh, physician here at Nebraska Medical Center. Uh, I'll be starting here next fall, 2018, class of 2022. So if you guys like what you see, please ask me any questions you guys want to know about. Any videos you would like to see, please comment below. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys later.